Hey everyone, um, I'm Derek. First, just uh, ignore the Ignite sign here. I just gave it at an Ignite talk like a couple months ago in San Francisco. Um, so we're talking about keeping it simple. Um, as, engineer, we tend, as engineers, we tend to over-engineer things mainly because it's fun. Um, however, we have to consider the users as well. So it's about finding the right balance uh, between simplicity for in engineering and simplicity for our users. And when we do balance it out, the, the results can be pretty great. So let's look at this in the context of a sign-up experience. Um, normal sign-up form. This is fairly good because the user doesn't have to repeat himself, especially the email address. Um, however, once a user makes a typo in the email address, it's a very terrible experience. Um, you basically lose a user because they jump into a black hole. Um, this is especially uh, prevalent if you're using email confirmations. So on one end of the spectrum, we can just slap on another field like this. However, the problem with this is that uh, we're optimizing for the 10% of the users who actually do make a typo and um, not helping the rest of the 90%. So that's kind of sucky. Another way is we can create a fantastically great solution, such as uh, perhaps doing some predictive analysis, um, create a lookup to a server and check MX records, things like that. However, it's, it's a lot of exponential effort for just marginal returns. So we have a hypothesis. Why not we add this prompt um, below the email form whenever they type in an email, and hopefully the user will take a do a double take and perhaps correct any mistakes they would have made. However, this is still repetitive, and sometimes it could just be condescending to the 90% of the users. All right. So we looked at the data of, of, of our email bounces, and we found out that most people were making um, errors and typos in the domain part of the email addresses. This is probably because most people type in their handles elsewhere. They're using it in different accounts, and most of, it, most of the time, it could be their name. Um, so that doesn't have any typo problems. These are a bunch of very common typos that we find people make, and you'd be surprised how bad it is. So what we did is uh, we, created, we did this. We do um, a simple suggestion, like how Google does, um, totally on the client side in JavaScript once a user types in any error. So this was, the first version of this was done in about an hour. And uh, after one week of data, it, it, we saw that it improved our, our uh, email bounce rates by 50%. So it's great. So in other words, this, this kind of trade-off um, shows that Little nudges can go a long way in improving user behavior. And uh, there was no solution out there, so we open sourced it as, uh, or rather I open sourced it as MailCheck.js, which basically auto-corrects your email, uh, any misspelled domains, um, against a preset list of uh, domains that you provide. It's on GitHub. It has uh, over, two, I think last count, 2,300 watches. Uh, we're on the lookout for contributors and maintainers, so come talk to me if you're interested. Um, and it's being used widely by quite a number of places like Dropbox, um, Uber, The Verge, and so on. In, in fact, some of our latest contributions includes even a keyboard distance-based string similarity algorithm, so such as if you type in two keys that are really close to each other, it will attempt to correct it based on that. Um, so there's a lot of work that can be done on it, and it's going well. So to close off, simplicity can have a huge impact. Um, don't over-engineer. Keep it simple for your users. Keep it simple for engineering. Thanks. Um, I'm actually speaking on creating rich apps in Rails, Backbone, and uh, CoffeeScript tomorrow. So uh, I'll catch you guys then. If not, just stop me around. Thanks. Thanks.